Coming to you live from Victoria, where we have the contestants that prove you don't have to be alive to be the state's favourite fossil. First up, we have the 470 million year old marine animal, shaped like a V for Victoria or very handsome, it's Isograptus victoriae. Or coming at you from the Cretaceous, the very cool Coolasuchus clelandi. Next, we have the adorable Bishop's Whitmorei, a pint-sized mammal that ran around the toes of dinosaurs. Or the youngest of the group, Palacestes alzale, the mystery marsupial of the Ice Age. They're just four of the eight contestants nominated to become Victoria's new state fossil emblem. You might be familiar with some state emblems, animals and plants that have been chosen to represent their home, like New South Wales waratahs and platypuses, or WA's kangaroo paw and numbats. And in Victoria, the common heath and the leadbeater's possum. Oh, how cute. But the states and territories have other emblems that you might not know so well. For example, did you know that Victoria's state bird is the helmeted honey eater? Its state marine animal is the common sea dragon and its state mineral is gold. Oh, and it's got a state tartan too. Oh, who knew? And now it's time to add one more. And we thought Victoria's got fantastic uh, fossil record, internationally significant fossil sites. We should have a fossil emblem. Our fossils are as good as anything in the world. So we'd like the people of Victoria to help us um, choose it. Victoria won't be the first state to adopt an emblem that's a little less alive. Back in 1995, Western Australia adopted the go-go fish as its fossil emblem. A little more recently, New South Wales chose the Devonian fish. And last year, the ACT picked Batacara Michelli as its fossil emblem. And while it wasn't chosen until 2017, South Australia's is the oldest. This wormy looking thing called Sprogina floundersi is 550 million years old. And now it's Victoria's turn. There were lots of fossils to choose from, but the team at Museums Victoria managed to get it down to just eight. These were the ones that we felt on the international, geological international stage, people would be aware of them because of their, uh, the unusual nature of them and the, the stories they tell about the evolution of life on our planet in, in general. Dermot says fossils can tell us a lot about our past and he hopes that Victoria's fossil emblem vote might even encourage some of you guys to consider a career in paleontology. Paleontology is a real gateway into science. It's a wonderful career. You're a time traveller going back 600 million years in Victoria. Great opportunities to see really bizarre, unusual critters that lived, lived you know, a long time ago. So while we'll have to wait a little while before a winner is chosen, it won't be too long until we find out which of these dead gorgeous beauties will be deemed the winner.